Yo, I really hope everybody had a great weekend this past weekend. Let me tell you about those NFL playoffs, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. So, today we got a build video for you guys. We're going to be going over a Strand Warlock DPS build. It's going to involve triple swapping. And when executed properly, you're going to be able to dish out some pretty darn good damage. But there is just a small minor skill gap to execute it properly. However, because it's still Destiny 2, it's not really that difficult to do. Disclaimer, you will only be able to run this build as long as there are multiple Warlocks in your fire team. If you are the only Warlock in your fire team, you will still be running well of Radiance. However, if you're able to run this build and you want to try and flex on your Hunter friends that absolutely crack out on damage, this build is going to give them a little bit of a run for their money. Remember, if you ever want to get your games in DLC for a cheaper price, you can always head over to Instant Gaming, the top link in the description. Their sole purpose in this world is to get you your games and those games DLC for a cheaper price. And they always do a free monthly game giveaway every single month. And then with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the build breakdown and go over what you're going to need. All right, let's talk about the actual build and setup. First of all, we'll talk about the actual subclasses. That is what's generally most important along with the actual exotics. Although in this example, your aspects aren't all that important as you're still going to be able to do what you need to do no matter what your aspects are. I just have mind spun and weaver's call your abilities do play an important factor in your grenade slot you need it to be a strand grapple grenade as this has the lowest cooldown of the three meaning you're going to be getting it very very quick and you combine that with threat of ascent this is basically gives you demolitionist for any weapon that you have out whenever you use your grenade ability aka your rocket launcher and this is why we need to have a grapple grenade so we can get it back really really fast constantly skip the reload on our rocket launcher this is also why threat of generation is a must run as dealing damage generates grenade energy and this includes all ticks of damage aka all the wolf pack rounds your wither horde if the target is unraveled if you're spawning any threadlings that are hitting the boss as well it's gonna proc threat generation allowing you to get your grapple grenade very 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 fast your other two don't matter as much but threat of boarding is always useful to keep yourself alive and then threat of continuity will just allow you to have your unravel last for a longer duration even though we do get three arcane needle melee charges and obviously your super is going to be needle storm because that's the only super you can use and i just like to use healing rift and burst glide there you go now your exotic could be a few different options you could go with something like Ophidian Aspects, although we do have Threat of Ascent. Or for this example, you can go with something like Narcos, Necrotic Grips, as this will allow your melee to put a damage over time effect on the boss, proccing Threat of Generation even more, and just dealing overall even more damage. Apotheosis could also be a pretty decent option as well, just to swap to right before your damage phase starts, as whenever you cast your super, you're going to get 8 seconds of just absurd grenade and melee regen rate allowing you to really really spam out rockets with your grapple grenade and use a lot of your arcane needles so definitely could be a pretty good option especially with its rework this season now for your actual armor mods they don't matter too significantly something like bolstering detonation momentum transfer and or impact induction could be really good to put on your gloves to allow for you to get your abilities back just that much quicker you do want to have some way of making orbs. That's why I just have siphon mods on my helmet. And then you can definitely put on a powerful friend so that you could give your other teammates and your fire team armor charge whenever you pick up an orb. I would recommend getting a charged up and the stacks on stacks. That way you can get up to times four armor charge and you can get up to that times four armor charge and only two orbs with stacks on stacks of course you're definitely going to want to have a time dilation and a special finisher on your class item the reason why is because what i like to do before a damage phase starts is stack up the surges and then switch to a pair of what i like to call surge boots as these are just going to be dedicated to having my surge mods the only caveat to that is that you still need to have some form of way to be able to spend your armor charge without having to wear your surge boots and on top of just being able to create special ammo with special finisher it allows you to basically store your armor charges for the damage phase of course if you don't want to do all that and just have your surge boots on at all times go ahead by all means do your thing but that's really all you need to know for the armor mods 
one thing that could be really useful to use in any situation where you're not in damage you're just kind of having to go through a mechanic deal with a few amount of ads or anything of that nature you could run karnsteins in the meantime as just getting melee kills and or finishers are going to give you times one and or times two resto along with tier three cure really really good for keeping you alive definitely have to at least mention running the carn scenes in between damage phases now for the weapons it's going to change a little bit but the core of it's always going to stay the same exotic special in your kinetic slot 99 percent of the time it's going to either be wither horde or izanagi's depending on the encounter the column four perk on your apex predator will change if you're able to proc surrounded use surrounded it is a massive massive damage buff if you can get it procced however most of the time you're going to use one with bait and switch in boss fights where you're only going to be able to proc bait and switch one time that's when i would go with the izanagis for example something like heidel or maybe each of the plates in something like explicitator or caretaker however if the damage phase is remotely long at all you're gonna wanna use Wither Horde just because it's free, it's easy, and it auto reloads itself. So it makes it really easy to combine and put a rotation together without having to worry about reloading a weapon with your Apex Predator and your Threat of Ascent Grapple Grenade reloads. One thing I will say about the energy slot is that anytime where I'm having to do some sort of mechanic in between damage phases, I just run some sort of trace rifle in here. And then for damage, I do really just love to go with the Cartesian coordinate. Banshee has sold two really good Cartesian coordinates recently in the month of December. Both of them had Vorpal weapon. So I'm really am hoping that you do have a cartesian coordinate for this it, it just flows really good however if you don't you could definitely go with a double grenade launch rotation and use something like an empty vessel or a wilder flight or if you still want to go the fusion rifle route you would just use an aramite instead of the cartesian coordinate However, Aramite's going to be worse in this situation because you really don't want to be spending that much time charging up your fusion rifle shot because you want to dump out as many rockets as possible. Now for the seasonal artifact, it doesn't affect this particular build really all that much at all. Argent Ordnance is definitely going to be something that you want to get. This is also another reason why we want to have times for armor charges just so we have more instances of getting Argent Ordnance off, especially when Surrounded's on, Surges are on, Debuff's on, Wolfpack is up and Argent Ordnance is up, your rockets are going to hit for ridiculous damage. Horde Shuttle could be a little bit useful, you know, they're unraveled, you could spawn a Threadling for a little bit of extra damage, might be helpful. Flint Striker, Torch, and Kindling the Trigger could all be pretty useful, especially because we are going to be using a solar weapon in our energy slot, and you're generally going to want to use this in a team setting, so if you are standing in a well, you will still be able to proc Torch, but you'll also be able to proc Torch via Flint Striker, and your strand melees but outside of that man the seasonal artifact isn't all that important for this build now generally when opening up with the rotation what i like to do is before the boss is even damageable just pre-stick him with the wither horde so you don't have to worry about it when damage starts proceed to shoot the boss with a fusion rifle and use one of your three charged melees switch to your rocket then go rocket rocket grapple at the ground so you don't go flying away rocket again re-stick the boss with the wither horde fusion rifle rocket grapple rocket super and then if you have apotheosis veil you should be able just to rocket grapple rocket over and over again but if you don't have on apotheosis veil and you're using necrotics like me after you come out of your super make sure you reapply unraveling with one of your three melee charges with the word fusion rocket rocket grapple rocket and for the super tie damage phases that's when you can go with the izanagi hit the boss in the crit Switch to your fusion rifle and or grenade launcher just to proc bait and switch. Rocket, rocket, grapple, rocket, super, rocket, grapple, rocket. It is definitely a pretty fun build to play around with, especially when executed properly, but it'll definitely take just a little bit of practice to get the most out of it. I will be leaving a dim link to this build at the top of the description if you do want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching the video. Y'all be safe, take care, consider subscribing. Adios.